Hello and welcome back to our van build series where we've been turning this carcass of a parcel delivery van into a tiny home on wheels. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install locking door slides and how to build wooden drawer boxes. And our intent is to build a pull-out drawer that will support a Dometic cooler style refrigerator and we'll also be building a standard drawer box. So today's video is intended to supplement a video we released earlier and that is installing these components into one of our aluminum framed galley kits. If you're not familiar with those, you can go to ourcaravan.com and we've got information about some pre-cut and pre-manufactured kits where you can just assemble the aluminum profiles together and it gets you a jump on your van build. But even if you're just wanting to learn how to install drawer slides and how to build drawer boxes, this video will have you covered there too. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now here's our latest galley framing kit, and we previously preloaded the slot of the framing with some threaded T-nuts to accept two quarter 20 bolts. Align the door slide with one of the T-nuts and loosely thread in the bolt. Now extend the door slide all the way to expose the holes for the forward bolts. Slide the whole assembly forward or back to align with the remaining T-nut, and then snug it up. Then align the front of the drawer slide until it is flush with the face of the main body of the slide, then tighten it down. On the locking side with the blue handle, align it the same way, but of course the blue locking mechanism will extend beyond the front of the framing. We are installing two pairs of slides one set of locking slides on the left side, and one set of non-locking on the right side. Now an issue I've discovered is that these are fairly low profile, but there's this tab on the non-locking door slides that hits on it. And it will make it pass, but it's not the smoothest thing ever. So we need to find a way to make that not a problem. Now, I will point out that on the locking drawer slides, uh, this isn't an issue. The locking ones are able to slide uh, the slide over it, and it clears. So it's only on the non-locking ones, and we'll have to make an adjustment here. All right, so there's lots of ways you could tackle this, but I think the easiest for me is just to take a Dremel, and just a tiny bit needs to come off. If you don't want to deal with this, then if you just use locking drawer sides on slides on both sides, you won't have to do this. But let's give this a shot. So 15, 20 seconds worth of grinding and the problem is solved. All right, getting these drawer boxes set up is fairly straightforward. This beam is 31 and a half inches wide. These drawer slides are exactly three quarters of an inch wide. So we have to account for that space. So three quarter plus three quarter is an inch and a half. You take an inch and a half off 31 and a half inches and that leaves you with 30 inches. So it's exactly 30 inches between these drawer slides. So, and this galley is 22 inches deep. So you're gonna cut out two pieces of plywood that are 30 inches wide by 22 inches deep. So that'll form the base for our drawer and the base for our fridge slide. Now, this compartment here is about nine inches tall. So a little over nine and a quarter. So what I did was I added seven and a half inch sides. So the back is cut seven and a half inches tall and it's the full 30 width 30 inches in width the sides are also seven and a half inches tall they're not 22 inches deep they're 21 and a half because it meets the back here so all i did was i cut the pieces out i added some glue glued one side at a time down and used clamps to hold it in place and then move on to the next one and then once the glue was dry, 
I simply added some screws. These are number six or number seven wood screws and it formed a pretty strong box. And then I simply added some uh, polyurethane to protect the wood. Now on the fridge slide, it's built in the same way. The drawer bottom is 30 by 22. And then I kept the sides to about two and three quarters inches tall. And that's because there are vents on the Dometic refrigerator that start about three inches up. I didn't want to block any of the vents. It just it doesn't need to be tall anyway. So this back is uh, two and three quarters inches tall and the full 30 inches wide. And the sides are two and three quarter inches tall, 21 and a half inches long. And they are also glued and screwed. One thing I'd like to note here is that I used good quality, what is it, seven or nine ply plywood from a hardwood store. It's half inch and it's plenty strong. Um, if you use cheap wood like this from your local box store, um, I mean, you, I don't know if you can see that, but this stuff bows so badly. And I just, I'm not sure that it's going to be strong enough or it's going to hold up. Um, so if you're going to use cheap products, maybe use three quarter, but this good quality half inch stuff, um, I know will, will hold up. I just want to point out that you do not need fancy tools to do this. I literally have caveman tools and used a circular saw and a bar of 80-20 as a guide. Now to mount the slides to the drawer box, we need to remove them. So on the locking door slides, just release the locking mechanism and keep it released and it will pull out. And for the non-locking, you'll grab this little black spade and either lift it or push it down and it will pull out as well. The locking and the non-locking are going to install on drawer box a little different and that's because the actual slider on the locking one um, sits back a half an inch whereas on the non-locking it's flush with the face. So I'll show you how we're going to accommodate that. So let's start with the locking. So the mounting holes sit one inch up from the bottom, from the framing. So we don't want to mount these right at one inch on the side of the drawer, otherwise the drawer is going to scrape um, against the framing every time you open it. So we're going to leave an eighth, probably a quarter inch actually, gap. So that means that rather than marking and drilling one inch on the side of our drawer box, we're going to do it at three quarter inch. So the first thing you want to do is measure up from the bottom of the drawer box three quarters of an inch and draw a line three quarters of an inch high. And then what we're going to do is that's the plane on which the uh, runner is going to be mounted. And remember on the locking side, it needs to sit back a half an inch. So we're going to measure and mark half an inch. Okay, so here's our half inch mark. So we line up the front of the slide with that and we line up the holes with our line. And we are using some number nine by half inch long wood screws. And you don't have to do this, but I do like to pre-drill the holes. Just make sure that you don't drill all the way through the box. So I'm lined up half an inch back. And then because we've got such small screws, I'm going to go ahead and use all, probably all six of these mounting holes.
Okay, now I've flipped the box the other way. The front of the drawer is over here now. I just like the other side, I drew a line three quarter inch up the box. This is the front of the drawer slide. And again, this side sits flush with the framing. So that means it sits flush against the front of the box. So I will line it up on my line at three quarter inch, flush with the front, pre-drill and install just like we did the other side. Okay, now we're working on the upper big drawer box. This is constructed exactly the same as the fridge slide. We drew a line three quarters of an inch up the box and we made a mark half an inch back. That's because this is the locking drawer slide side. So it needs to sit back half an inch. We will pre-drill and screw it in just as before. Okay, I flipped the box over. The front is now here. Here's the front of the door slide. I'm putting a non-locking slide on the side. So we've got three-quarter line drawn three-quarters away up the drawer. And on the non-locking side, the front goes even with the face. All right, here's our completed galley unit. So in this build, we went with the drawer here and the fridge down here and our water compartment over on the side. However, all of this can be moved around. If you want, you can lower this bar and you could put the fridge on top and put the drawer on the bottom for pots and pans. You can have it in this orientation or you can slide this bar over, move this over and have your sink and water system on this side and all of this shifted over. Um, I chose to use one set of locking door slides and one set of non-locking and I did it for convenience so that on the drawer side you can do it one-handed, lift up on the handle, full extension drawer. For the fridge, step down and pull out, also full extension. Alright, as always, thanks for watching and we hope to see you soon. Yeah.